everyone, this is Monkey1000, and today I have a project. Of course, cars go by. Nothing I can do about that. So I got me some cow manure, some potting mix. We got some pots here. What I'm going to do, this is my plan, is I got three pots. Got them at Dollar Tree. Great price, over $5. Our store does carry $5 stuff. I hadn't been in it so long that I didn't know if we did or not. And of course they did. So, um, yeah. So I got three of these little pots here and I got three of these big pots. Thing is, I should have got one bigger one than this, but they didn't have them and I don't want to spend a fortune at Lowe's and uh, even Walmart's. They were really expensive. And I'm like, I ain't paying that. So, what we're going to do, we're going to take this little doodad, we're going to put it inside here. This is my plan. I'm going to put it in there. I might glue it down. I don't know if I have to. I might not have to. Just lay it in there. And then what am I going to do? I have a noodle here. And what you do, you cut this noodle up in little quarters here. Just cut them up. And we're going to put them in the bottom of this. Then we're going to put the dirt on top. We're going to put the flowers on that are over here. I'll get them in a minute. And I'm trying to get this done because, yeah, I've had the flowers for eh, a few days, maybe too many, and they need to be in here. So I don't want them to, to die on me, you know. So, And on the top of this, I have my water fountain. You remember this I got from Tibu. So we're going to put this in the square one and it's going to be on the top with water in it and we're going to have a water fountain on the top. So this is what's going to happen and hopefully it works the way I want it to. <laughs> so stay tuned and we'll be right back. So what we're going to do first I'm going to take some, uh, I, I'm just going to use this for mixing. Um, yeah, this ba bag that I got of soil is so heavy, I can't lift it. So I brought the car up to the table and I dragged it across. That's how I did it. Ugh, it's the only way I could do it. So I'm going to put some soil in here. And we're going to mix it up with the cow manure first. That's my idea here. Got my new... Timu shovel that I'm using. Cute! And yeah, so I can't pour this. I, I can't lift this bag. This bag's really heavy. But by the time I finish this project, it should be a little bit lighter so I can lift it maybe. I wanted to do this yesterday and then we decided we were going to go fishing and then we fell asleep after dinner. We were going to go fishing in the evening because it's been really hot. So, uh, I was like, oh, okay. So, I didn't get it done. It's like, I got to get this done. Because the flowers need to be planted. And, yeah. And they need a good watering. So, um, I want to get this done. So, I'm going to put this in here. As much as I can. Let's mix some of this up, too. This bag is not as heavy, but it's still heavy enough to give me a hard time. So, I might have to cut a little bit here. Because I can't do it with my arms and lift as well as I used to. Maybe I can get my shovel in here. I might need an opening a little bit more here for this. I like to mix the two. I think they're really good together. And uh, especially for planting um, other stuff, this should help. Always cow manure in your soil really helps, I think, especially here. Your soil here is nothing but sand, and that's no fun. Is it's hard to plant stuff. If I am not a green thumb, I don't have one, don't claim to have one, but I try. All right. Now you know why we do it outside because of the mess. Yeah, right. Cover that hole. 
there. I'm going to put some more of this in there. Should help these plants a lot. I just want to get it good in here. Mm. They're getting it all over. Okay. I'll probably have to put some more in here, but you get the idea. This is what we're going to do. So let me show you the other trick we're going to do first. First thing, I'm going to put this in. I'm going to cut this up. I have another one in the house. If I need it, I will use it. doesn't really matter the size. Just cut it up. That's all you need to do. This helps absorb, and it also is going to raise the pot up a little bit more. You, know, you don't have to um, put as much soil in it because you have these in here. So it does work, I guess. This is my first time using it, so I have no idea. So I can just put them in here. Put them in your pot that you're going to use and see how well it works here. I've never done this, so my first time. Now, this one has like a hole in it a little bit, so it's for drainage and stuff, I think. Um, but I don't know. I think I might do it this way. Put this pot upside down like so. Let me show you so you guys got an idea of what I'm doing here. So here we go. So you guys can see a little bit better. Let me bring it down. There you go. So I just kind of lined them up. As you can see, I have a hole in this one, like a deep hole. That's the way they came. I don't know. I would say it's more for drainage, but you got these right here. That's going to be fine. And you can put your pot on top. Now, sometimes you can glue these down if you want. I might move this one in the middle and put the little ones on the top. That might work better. And um, sorry, guys, I'm moving you. So you do it like that. And I don't think I'm going to need to glue it because um, I think the dirt around it is going to hold it all in place. I think that's what will happen. So I'm going to put the dirt around here and we're going to see how well it's going to do. So um, let me get to the other side. I'm going to leave you guys down like that so you guys can see. And... Um, So I'm going to put the potting soil. I mix this in together a little bit better here. And we're just going to put it in here. And pile it in. There we go. Just put as much as you need or want in, in here. Um, I really think once I get the soil around the pot, that pot, it won't move. So I think it'll be fine. I don't think I need to glue it. Now I'll probably have to put this on the ground to do the rest because, um, you know, it's going to get heavy. And I don't think I can lift it after it's been done. So I don't know. So I'll just try to put the... Put that around. I wanted to make sure I had plenty, so um, yeah. I'm gonna do this real quick. I watched. Um, it was Bethany, and she uses a lot of um, Dollar Tree stuff for her projects, and that's where I got the idea from. That's, I can't remember her whole name, but if you punch in Bethany for Dollar Tree, I think you'll, she'll pop up. So, um, hers, is gonna, hers is a little bit different than mine. Because she did use a bigger pot on the bottom to the top. 
and that's probably the way I should have done it, but I'm not spending $12 for one pot. That's crazy. You know? So, I think it's five bucks. Heck yeah, I'll get them all day long. I don't care. Okay? I can use them all over. So, and they're nice pots, I think. Very nice. So, we'll get this done. I'm going to fill this up and then we will continue. We will be right back. Guys, so I'm back. I have my glue gun here. So you can see that. What we're going to do is I filled it up as far as I want for right now. If I need more soil and that, I'll mix it in there. What you're going to do is make sure there's no dirt on this. And this one too. You can use... Um, hot glue or you can use your E6000. I don't like E6000, but I will use my glue gun. Hopefully this is hot enough. It should be. There it goes. So you just put it all the way around on your pot. I hopefully you guys can see that. I didn't do it for the bottom one because I don't think it needs it. But this one I will. You don't need to take the labels off unless you want to. You know, that's up to you. I'm going to put some on here too. Just for, you know, to make sure it's pretty good. You know. So. I love my glue gun. I want the next one I'm going to get is going to be cordless. Anybody know a good one, let me know. Yeah, because I think cordless one would be fine for outside and stuff, you know? Be fun. Be a lot easier than having to wait, plug it in. Alright, so I'm going to just line it up, pot to pot, and let it go. Seal it. And I might put some more on the outside. No one's going to see this part. Flowers are going to be in front of it. The dirt's going to be in front of it. So, you know, it doesn't matter. You don't have to be perfect with it. But you might just want to seal it a little bit better on the outside to make sure. I can't really see, so... It's making it kind of hard for me to do this. So I'm getting some of it in the dirt, but it's going to get hard and I'll peel it off. Yeah, see? <laughs> it got in the dirt here. That's okay. All right. I think, I think it'll be all right. Just let it sit for a few minutes. I think this is going to be really cute. I'm going to pack this down a little bit around there so it doesn't move. And I'll probably end up putting more, more dirt up here because I want it to be flowers to be up here. So, But I want to get this built first. And, uh, yeah, so there we go. All right, so the next step, I'm going to take another pot and put it on top. Yeah, hopefully you guys can see that. Let me back you up a bit. <coughs> I will take the stickers off of it, you know, make it look a little bit more presentable. Try to even them out. You can take these stickers off. Yeah, so. But for five bucks each, especially when you've got a go to like Walmart or Lowe's oh my god and Walmart doesn't have the variety they used to have you know they're expensive ones that they have now I don't want them I mean that'd be great if you had a patio or something but I don't have a patio I don't want to spend that kind of money you know so we'll take these off here um I'll make it look a little... They do have spouts on these ones. That's fine for me. I, that's, it might be easier. You know, water overflow or wherever you want it. Um, 
she had hers on her back patio, which looked nice, but I don't have a patio. I'd like to have one. I had a deck, and I had my other fiancé, well, he wasn't a fiancé, he was a boyfriend, and um, he, uh, he built it, and then the inspectors came along and told us we had to tear it down because I had no, um, you know, code for it. I didn't get a permit for it. That's what I was trying to say. So I was kind of upset about that. Now, see what I'm going to do is put more dirt here. So I'll probably turn you off. I'm going to put more dirt on here before I do this because I want the dirt to probably be up here. And that will cover most of all this. You're not going to see this. So that will give you an idea. Let me get that off. Yeah, there we go. All right, so let me let me mix some more dirt and pour it in there before I do this part. Hold on. Okay, guys, so you see how I have the dirt in there. There you go. I wanted to make sure you guys see it. And now we're going to put the next layer on, which is going to be the next pot. Now, you probably want to even these out. You know, I can turn it around, use this as my backside. You know, I can do that so nobody sees these. Or you can leave it, one or the other. Um, if you have different colored pots, you can paint them whatever color you want. I'm not going to paint these. I mean, you're going to have flowers in here, so you're not going to see that. I'm just not going to paint them. I think they'll be just fine without painting. And these right here, I like the color they are. My mother looked at these and she says, you know what? I think you need to paint the house that color. And I looked at her and I was like, you know what? I think she's right. So I think the, the color of these pots is going to be the color of my house. And then I might go a darker color for the trim and the door or a lighter color, just like one shade different. Um, we'll, have to, we'll have to get some samples and, and test it out. But I really think this will be a nice color for this house. I really do. And it's a little bit darker than what I have, but I don't want to go too dark. So it depends. I have to wait until they get the shingles done. So once I get that going, then I'll really know if that's the color or not. So anyways, I'm going to glue this one together. And we're going to glue it together. So get your hot glue gun going here, girls or gentlemen. And I'm going to do the edge here. Just do it like so. I had to do this before it got too hot. It was, it's supposed to be like 94. Somebody said it was supposed to be in the hundreds, but my uh, Alexis is about 94 today, so and it's been really humid. So the day we went boating, it was hot. It was really, really hot. So okay. So what I'm gonna do here. I'm just gonna do the rim here and glue it on this side so I have it better. starts getting too heavy I'll probably have to put it on the ground I'll put it where I want it and then we might have to finish it because it gets too heavy and won't be able to lift it so I really want to do it on the table as much as possible huh? makes life easier you know all right so I'm gonna take this and put it let me come into the front here so I can see the Try to keep it as even as possible, you know, try to even them out a bit so it's not too crooked. So, and I have no sense of straightness. I found that out when I was working in a factory that I had to cushion. I had to, um, I made cushions for your sofas. And my supervisor came and it ain't straight and I'm looking at it and I thought it was straight it looks straight to me 
But just remember, this is all going to be covered with your flowers here. And we could probably put the flowers in there because this is not going to interfere with anything. But I'm probably going to have to put it on the ground because it's going to be too tall for me to get inside for the next one. So let's do some flowers on the bottom here while this is kind of drying. I think it already is dry. And um, yeah, we'll do that. And then that way you get an idea. Then we'll put it on the ground and I will continue with it. Okay, so I have some flowers here. Let me move this real quick here. And you can pick any kind of flowers you want. It doesn't really matter. I got some, you know, these pansy flowers here and you can just stick them in there. And there you go. It is wobbly a little bit. Hopefully it will we'll stay. Yeah. See? And that's how it's going to be. Just like so. And um, I think it'll be cute. Hopefully I'll cover most of the stand here for it. Um, yeah, it's a little bit wobbly. But I think the bottom one, it's got enough dirt, it shouldn't matter, you know. Just pack it down. I might put some more dirt on top of it after I plant some of these. And you're just going to go all the way around, you know. Yeah, I'll probably put some more dirt in here. It takes a lot of dirt, so you want to get a big one. Make sure you got plenty. So that's what I did. I wanted to make sure I had plenty of, of the plants and, and stuff. I might not have enough for the plants. I don't know. So, yeah, see? And you can do your colors and go over around some more. Yeah. So I probably would probably have it looking that way on the outside so nobody can see the spouts. That's fine, you know, nobody needs to see them, right? And uh, let's put one here. And I got a couple of white ones here I'm going to put in between. Um, yeah, so. And... Yeah, it's going to take this whole carton here for this one. So, I don't know if I got enough or not. I'm going to put one here. And uh, I'll put one on the other side, too, here. So, I'll put this one here. And I'll put my last one there. This one's really a pink one. See, they're really dry and they need... They need to be, <laughs> they need to be watered. I had them and they got really wet during that bad storm we had. And I was like, oh, okay. So then I haven't watered them since and it's been really hot. So it's time to get these suckers in the ground. <laughs> in somewhere, right? So, yeah. There. So it kind of goes like that. Hopefully you guys can see that. And of course... All right, so now we're going to do the top one. And I'll probably have to bring it on the ground so you guys can see. So I'll be right back. Let me move some stuff around. Okay, so I put it over here. I do have a stand here, and I think I'm going to use it. Um, yeah. And this is the way it look. I don't know if I'm going to keep it here. I wanted it over there by that fountain over there. I want to move that, and I wanted to put it right there. That's what I wanted to do. But is there going to be enough sun? I have a, I don't, I don't think so. I don't think so. So I don't know if I'm going to keep it on this side, or I might just put it on that side. I might put it on that side. I don't know. Uh, I'll make up my mind later. <laughs> and as long as I know, you know, um, where I want it. <coughs> oh, excuse me. So, the next thing we're going to just do is basically we're we're going to we're going to repeat basically the same thing. I still have some noodles here. I'm glad I bought another one cuz I probably will cut some of it off. Um, yeah. 
And you could glue these dang things down if you want. I'm going to bring you up some more so you guys can see a little bit better. There you go. Um, you can glue them down if you want. I'm not going to. Let me go get my other noodle and I will cut a couple more pieces off of there. Hi. You So, uh, let me see here. I'm going to get a couple pieces. And uh, I don't need that many, really. Um, I'm glad I bought another one. I looked at the one, and I didn't know if it was going to be enough. I kind of wanted them. Put two long ones in the middle, I think. That'll work. And that kind of helps things. Keeps them sturdy. See, I probably that's all I need. So I have a little bit of the noodle still for something else. I might do this with something else. They, a lot of people put those noodles in the bottom of their pots. They say it really works well for watering. Okay, so next I'm going to fill this up with soil. You already saw the other ones, so I'm going to do that off camera. And then we will do the other part. I put the potting soil in there. You know what? I think I did it upside down. I think I might have. I don't know. Yeah. I'm going to have to remove that pot and put it the other way. See, that's a good thing I didn't glue it. So, yeah, because if I glued it, I need to put it the other way. So. I need to take this, and all this dirt is probably going to fall in my hole, but I don't really want it to. So I would just turn it upside down here. There we go. That's what I want. I want it this way. Okay. So you want it facing up. You don't want it facing down. Because you can make this only two tiers if you want. You make it three. You make it whatever you want. Um, she made it, ended up making it three because what she did is that uh, the top part, she used a flower pot that was um, a flower pot that had no, ho that had holes in it. So she was like, what the heck? And, and she had to figure it out. So that's the way it's going to go. There, there. All right, let me put this one on top because if you do if you do it the other way you're not going to have enough room for your flowers you see what I mean so this is going to be my last one here so I'm going to put some more dirt in here first before I um, yeah I put more dirt in there and bring it up so then my flowers will kind of go around so I'll be back after I get all that done. I don't know if you heard me. I put this all together. Okay, so now I'm putting the plants in. I'm going to bring you down a little bit more. I don't think you can see it all. There you go. So I'm putting flowers in here. Um, yeah, like I was saying, I don't know if you got it or not. but Because um, I don't think the mic was on. That... Um, I'm trying to dig a hole for the flower here and put it in there. I waited too long for these flowers. Hopefully they'll live. I don't know. I'll water them. They may come back. They might have got too much water when we had that storm. And that could be causing their problem too. So Now it depends where you're going to put this. If you want, you can do the whole thing around. You don't have to if you're going to have a wall like I do. I really don't need to put them in the back. Um, but because no one's going to see them. And then are they going to live? You know, because it depends where you're going to put it. You know, if you're going to put on your, let's say your patio, or your lanai and stuff, then you might want to do the whole thing, you know. But I don't have one. I would love to have one. Maybe one day. And I'll put that there. I have one more plant that I want to do up there. Now this, of course, got flowers on it. <laughs> of course, see, got flowers on it. 
So I put the dead ones in the front. And <laughs> oh well. I might just do it like this. And then that way I can just put them in there. I might move this one over. I could do that. And move it over. And then you put this one in here. Like so as best you can. Now my suggestion is use different size pots. Make it easier. But um, I'm not spending a bunch of money for a big huge one. And I think this will be just fine for what I'm doing right here. Anyways, you guys get the idea. Uh, kind of that glue did not stick, I don't think, on the top one. So I might have to... Yeah, see, it just came right off. It doesn't want to glue, so I may have put some more glue on it. Then we're going to do the last layer, and then we'll show you. I'll be right back. Hey, guys, I'm back. Uh, what I did on here, I had to go inside. I had to, I had to sit down. I was going to be sick. So what I did, I used the whole rest of the noodles except for one piece. I cut it up, put it in the bottom here. Um, I don't have another bucket to put upside down. You don't want that. This is your last piece here. So I have my water bucket here. That's where it's going to go there. So, so I'm going to put dirt around it as best I can without trying to get dirt in the water. And um, then I have some more flowers that I'm going to put around here. And I think I might have just enough flowers just to put around here. And then we're going to put our water fountain in. So we're getting closer. Um, but, you know, you, you guys see me cut up the noodles. So it helps a lot. I put a bunch in this one because I didn't have another bucket. So I wanted to raise it up a little bit. You know, it's up to you. I used a square one for the top. It's okay. Uh, I couldn't find the one around one that was the same color. So that's as close as I could get. And I didn't really want to paint them. I just just don't want to paint not right now not in this heat it's hot very hot so um yeah so i'm gonna get some more dirt and fill it up some more and we'll put our flowers in there i'll do that and then i'll come back okay so i had enough i could probably put a couple more i could put one like down here i don't know if you guys can say i could put one there if i want i could put a couple more in there but um yeah if I go to Walmart, I may go to Walmart and get some later. Okay, so what I'm going to do now that I got my bucket in there, I'm going to take this, I'm going to get some water and fill this up, and I'll be right back. Hey guys, so there it is. Now, you don't have to hide it. I mean, I don't know. I might get a couple more put here. But I'll tell you what, it's a little bit wobbly. It is a little wobbly, but I wouldn't put it on a stand, that's for sure. If you want to just do two tiers, you could do that if you wanted to. And it'd be just fine. It's a little wobbly for three, but I like the three that she did. And the only, you know, she made a mistake because she really actually did two. And, um, and then she added another one because of her mistake. Let me go and get the fountain. Okay. Okay, guys. So here's the fountain. Let me bring you up. I, hopefully, you guys can see me. See it? Can you see it? I don't know what you're looking at here. All right. So, so I'll bring it up closer so you can see better. Yeah. There we go. Okay, so as you see, I have this. I put it together. I got it from Timu. And you'll put, hopefully this is going to go in there. I don't know if it goes in the water. I really don't. There should be a tube, but there was no tube. Hmm. Hold on, guys. I might make one. I, so it tumbled over as I was looking for something else to put the fountain thing in. Of course, never things ever go the way you want. 
and it's made a horrible mess over here on my deck. So I'm not going to do the, the three. It was pretty unsteady. I would probably use different potting, pots, sizes of pots. And I'm just going to leave it the way it is. I added the other flowers in here, the poor things. Just put them in here so, and put one down there where I had the hole. So it kind of fills it up so I won't need any more. And we will try to figure out this lovely thing. Uh, what I'm worried about is can this go in the water? If it can't go in the water, then I need a tube to go from here to here, I think. And um, some of them you can put in the water. But I don't know if you can with this one. So let me go figure it out or ask Shea Bear and I'll be back. There you go. I put the water fountain in there. Put water in there. I just filled it up. That's what I did. Filled this up with water. No big deal. Uh, we had a little bit of trouble with this thing. <laughs> um, <coughs> there's different levels you can use. I think that's cute. I might try the, the, other, the other ones and see what they're like. So um, yeah. I'll show you the other ones. I just have to change the cap on it, I think. Okay, so let me go get the caps and we'll do that. Hi. You are currently being It's working. Thank you. For fixing it. I didn't fix anything because you were you didn't tell me you were in there changing parts of those well, I couldn't get it together, and I was like, well, there must be a part missing on this one. So couldn't I was, get it together because yeah. you were using the other part from the other pump. So. They have my outlets are different sizes. It's two different pumps. Yeah, they are. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, guys, so let me change this out so you guys can see it, and we'll see what one's different. Maybe. If I can get it off. No, I'll just leave it on there. So you got different ones here you can use. And got to get it wet. And that one kind of just does a drip. I don't know. Is that one on right? Let me see. It's coming off. Let me see here. Uh... There we go. There we go. Oh, that one's cute too. Got that one. Oh, that's pretty. I like that one. Might use that one. And then, let me see here. That one's cute. And you just turn them and put them on. Turn them. Turn them. Put them on the top. There you go. Then we got this one. I don't know. I like that one too. That's kind of like the first one. Oh, that's cute. It goes up and down though. Then you have another one here. Let me show you this one. Oh, that's nice. I think I like that one better. I don't know. Now we're in a dilemma. Oh, that's cute. That really goes up high. That's really cute. Yeah, it goes up and down. Okay, let's try the other one. See what it's like. And then you got this one. Oops. Friggin' bug on my foot. What happened here? Oh, I already got on there. Just dropped out of my hand, that's all. And you kind of got that one, which is nice because it will water your plants there. It'll get your flowers. Oops. I can get this camera wet. It's waterproof. Um, thank goodness. I can put it underneath the water and stuff. Then it has two little spouts here. Oh, that's pretty. I like that one the best, I think. I think I'll leave that one on. I like that one the best. It's prettiest. It does get out though. The only problem with that one, it is sprouting out of 
on the ground. Um, yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty high. Uh, maybe we'll change it. I don't know. It's pretty though, but I don't want it all over the place either because it's getting everything wet. So let's not use that one. We'll use, we'll use this one. That one goes up and down. That's more confined. Yeah, I think I'll, I'll leave it on that one. And the birds can drink out of it if they want. So, there you go. I have a mess to clean up. The other pot I got, I got a plant that needs a big pot, so I'm going to use it. And, um, yeah. I could get more of these and maybe do one on the other side. I have another fountain. It's a solar one. Uh, I bought two of them because I wasn't really sure what I wanted. I'm going to pour some more water in that, though. I think it needs more water. Yeah. So there you go. Um, without my mess, you can kind of see it forward here. I'll show it to you this way. Let's see it that way. And it's cute. I like it. I would just do a two-tier instead of three really because it really got wobbly and then once i added the water it just fell right over all over my bench i'm gonna take the hose and hose it down i guess but i had plenty just just enough flowers really just to do the two so um it just filled it up more so i made it look a little bit better this will turn on it's supposed to have lights at night so um, I might wait until this evening until it gets dark and then I'll show you the lights. Sorry about the birds. Those are, the crows are going crazy. So, yeah, that's cute though, isn't it? I like it. Very nice. And I'll show you at night when it gets dark. So we'll be back quickly for you, but it's going to be hours for me because I think it's only 1230. But I'm going to clean up my mess and I'm going to use my pots for um the one in the backyard yeah so oh that's cute and it's working fine and they say the more sun you put it in the um the more it will it'll do if you want it in the shade a little bit you can put it in the shade so that's cute Hi. Right, so do you remember this and you remember i told you that yeah, the weed eater got this. Well, I got one of these. So we're going to put this in and we're going to take it outside. Hopefully this ain't going to take too long and I can do this. <laughs> That's another thing. So I put this together with the other video. Um, yeah, been wanting to do this. Just haven't had time. You know, I've had people coming and going and all kinds of craziness happening here at this house. So I want to get this done. So I already pried it with my knife a little bit because I wanted to see if I could do it, if it was glued down or not. There you go. So it's that simple to take out. Oh, let's see. Well, the whole thing needs to come out. Because, yeah, just pull it out, I guess. Yeah. Because I got a new, new cord here, right? I do, yeah. So this will go... And weave in there so okay well there you go you yeah, see see what happened yeah wow looks burnt don't it guys i hope not but um yeah so this is no good anymore so we're gonna put this one in and uh see how well it works here um I have two of these, so I have an extra one, so that's a good thing. I'm going to put it in with my arts and crafts stuff, so if I need it again, I will have it. And I also have that one out front. It's the colored one. It works good. It's still working. <coughs> oh my goodness, here I go again. So, let me see. I'm going to unwind this like so. There we go. 
The only problem I'm going to have is probably putting these through these holes. You got to put them through that holes there. So, um, yeah. But I think otherwise, once I get it through the holes, I don't think it'll be that bad. So let's see what I can do here. And weave this through. There ain't nothing else in there, right? I'll make sure. Yeah. I mean, you could use it just the way it is, but the lights look so pretty on it, you know? So, I'm trying to, my hand is not big. I mean, it's too big probably for this. I don't know. This might not be so easy to weave through. It may not be. See, you want to put them through those holes. That's the whole thing. So, put these two together. Maybe if I do a couple at a time, maybe that'll be easier. I don't know. I have no idea. I've never weaved anything like this before, so... know how we're going to get that through. We need to tie something to it. That is what we need. So this kind of goes, I wonder if we can probably, yeah, you can pull that off. Well, maybe, hmm. I was thinking maybe I could weave this through here. And, um, you know, use this to weave it through. I don't know. Let's see if we can try anyways. Right, guys? Yeah. So I'll just try to weave it through. Isn't really gonna help me. <laughs> Not really. Yeah, these are really delicate too, and they attach to everything. So yeah, look, they attach to everything. Where's that little light? Okay, so let's see here. If I could get this go through, just let it go through here. I don't think the top of this will come off. Oh, you know what? I think I found a way. I think so. We won't have to do this weaving. Now, see? These have a little clips on here. I just happened to see them. So, just bend them over. I made it harder than it had to be. Oh my god. Yeah. So you just take this lid off. Oh, look at that. Cool beans. Okay, so we don't need all this. No. So, did that for nothing. That's okay. I was I was trying to think maybe I have to weave it through, but then I saw those clips there, and I'm like, I don't have to do that. So, you can put it through this. That's what you do. Still going to be not be so easy, but it's a lot easier than the other way. Yeah, so. Getting smart in my old age, maybe, I don't know. Okay. 
Come on. They're bent. Ugh. Alright, so there we got them. See, these are twisted. They don't really. There we go. A little bit more. Mm, I'm going to untwist this. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Untwist it. So it's completely untwisted. There we go. Okay, so. And then we put one. And we'll put two through that one. And then. I'm going to put these in there. See, they're all tangled here. So then we can do these two, I think. So poop it through here. Hopefully you guys can see this. I'm just poking it through. And this one, I'll poke over here. And go through. And there we go. Okay, and I have two more here for each hole. And I got one right here for this hole. Okay, so now we should have them going through the holes. Ah. And these two are tangled right here. Yeah. So I take this one out and untangle it all the way. That way I can put it through here. Oops, through this hole. Okay. Now I'll make it go through better. Yeah, a lot better. Ah, we got more tangles going on here. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Where's this one? Where is that one? Okay. And this will be long. How am I going to do this? This ain't going to work. Is it? No, because you can't put that back on. Unless, what you do... No, it's not going to work that way. <laughs> oh, no. Hmm not going to work. So I'm going to have to go this way. Going to have to. So I had it right the first time, I guess. I see it coming through. So there you go. So I couldn't do it that way. And so I had to figure it out this way. My hand's stuck. All right. There we go. So. And then I'll make sure I got them all in there. Yeah, because there's a little sharp piece there. It's like really sharp. So you want to make sure that you're getting something in there. And then you put this on top like so. 
and it just sits in there. All right, so now we'll have to weave these through the holes. That's what we'll have to do. So that, and you put it through the hole. I was hoping, and I'm like, no, you can't do it that way. Duh. So sometimes you just got to figure it out. And this one, I like to put it over here. And just weave it through this now. Yeah. So. Then. Bring this one over here so we're not tangling everything. Well, that worked. Just took me a few minutes. Sorry, guys. I thought it was going to work the other way. I don't know why, but it did. So. And I'm going to put one in the middle here. I think there's one missing. goes through the hole. Oh, it poked out of me. There we go. I'm going to keep that in there. Sorry guys. This this is a reminder. He's come on for Bruno's meds. It's a reminder because I forget things so easily He's now because of my accident. So, um, Shaber's got it set up, so I won't forget his meds, so, yeah. So, I just put these clips back on here. I might do it this way. And, I just used a butter knife. Well, there we go. So, and it goes like that. I don't think it's as long as the other one. Maybe, maybe it is. It could be. So, and then you bend these tabs back. There it goes again. It's time for Bruno's so we can put them on. And there you go. Now, let's take the sealer. I think there's a piece on here. Yeah. Piece on here. We can take that off. And hopefully it's working. I don't know. Is it on? Is it off? Oh. It moved on me. Yeah. There. I don't want to move it. And I'm not supposed to do that. Okay, hopefully it'll work. Oh, it did come on there for a minute. Hmm. There, see? It goes. Oh, this one's flashy. My other one wasn't. I don't think it was flashy. Can you see that? Can you see the flashiness? There you go. Yeah. I'll turn the light off so you guys can see it.
Alright. Uh, there. Pretty. Huh? Yeah, you guys can see it. There you go. So, that should work just fine. Yeah. Cute. There. And, of course, you see this part here, right? My hand on it. Yeah. There you go. Can you see it sideways? I'm trying to show you. There. You guys can see it then. Okay, I'm going to hang it back outside. I'm going to put this one in the backyard. I have the other one in the front yard. So when I do, it gets a little bit darker. I'll go outside and show it to you. Guys, so I'm back here. It's dark enough. It's still not completely dark, but it is. There you go. I think I like those lights better. I think the one that I had, the original ones on that, were just straight. Like, they didn't flash like that. I could be wrong. Um, but, yeah. So, now I got a fix. So, thank you, Wendy, for finding those for me. I appreciate it. She is, like, my second mom. She's my mom's best friend that lives in Canada. And she watches my videos, so... She always tries to give me a little bit of ice on there, I see, sometimes. so. But she did find those for me. That was a big thumbs up. And, yeah, so if you guys have these pots and you need a replacement for them, you can get them on Timu. I didn't even think of that. I thought, oh, no, I'm going to have to buy a new one, you know. And it really wasn't that hard once I figured it out, as you could see. You know, some of you probably would have weaved it right through and... <laughs> You know, instead of me putting it through the holes and realizing, oh, I can't do that. So, but I'm not mechanically inclined, not that well. So, you know, I figured it out. So, if I can figure it out, anybody can. So, that's it for that one. I'm going to take you out front and hopefully we can see the lights on the fountain. I hope. I don't know if we'll be able to or not. So, I put the flashlight on it, so it's it hasn't been out here long enough, I don't think. Once it gets out here, I think it'll look really pretty. Um, I'm going to turn this off so you guys can see. Hold on. There it goes. Isn't that pretty? Hi. You are it doesn't want to stay on too long. But, um, yeah. So hopefully the sun will get at it some more. And I hope it... I mean, it is kind of shaded here, but... I'm hoping it's going to work here. They say they will work there. So, yeah. So, yeah, just put the flashlight on it and hold it all night. It looks pretty when it's there. Yeah. Alright guys, that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, yeah, I would make these maybe a two layer instead of three. three. Um, it got a little too wobbly and it just fell over as soon as I put that water in. So, <laughs> let's do this again so you guys can see it. There we go. So, stay tuned. I'll have plenty more. And Monkey says she's out. Bye, y'all.